Hello viewers, hope you are doing well. Today I would like to discuss with you uh, the last part of this topic. Uh, I think uh, you have um, seen all my videos of the series earlier. Uh, so you can continue at uh, this series. Otherwise, uh, if you not shown that series. Uh, not shown all the videos of that series uh, i cordially request you to um, see those videos otherwise you can't capture these uh, topics properly <coughs> here you can see the um, demo uh, a notification already came and uh, in this user there are many notification is unreadable here uh, and try to read that's when you click and that's when it uh, status it changes is did and uh, the list automatically refreshed when and the notification count is uh, automatically refreshed every 30 second so um, let's start the practical session first create a new blank page to display the uh, newly Game notification which uh, status is not read. Uh, create a new region. Uh, region type should be interactive read and data source type should be SQL. And uh, here the select statement. statement. The two conditions should be here based on the uh, app user and Another condition should be is it read equal to n. That's mean not read yet. Go to the share component. Uh, I have uh, created earlier a navigation bar menu that have no target, and now I am going to set that target of that page. Yeah, uh, target type page at this application and page type in 13. Now uh, open that page again and uh, set this uh, page type um, model type drawer and now select the region query and change it uh, name and the another condition uh, is read equal to n that's mean uh, which notification is not read yet those rows are displayed here change the template type you can reset its your own choice i all i always prefer to give the prefer preference your choices God said the static ID of this region uh, later we will use it to refresh that region and set the columns static ID also uh, this uh, static ID we will use later to hide that column header here i am going to capture this uh, header id here you can see that red mark text is, is the column header id uh, using this header id i am going to uh, hide this header that's why it's look like a list not a report first capture that element and uh, using this add a style to set visibility of that header display should be none because i i would not like to display this header
Now I am going to settings the process. Uh, which process is updated the status of that uh, notification? Uh, here's the update statement. Set the ns underscore read column uh, set to e y. for which users here I pass the my variable <coughs> and uh, this records primary key ID otherwise all records of this users uh, updated there so will be not correct so that's why i use uh, two parameter first one is the based on the user and the primary key id Here uh, I'm going to capture the user username. Based on the user ID. missing the variable then now copy that uh, uh, process name and create a um, javascript function on the page level this function is uh, responsible to execute the server side code especially execute the server side code to execute that uh, as a callback function yes uh, kept passing the value of that uh, application variable uh, global variable first one is for uh, user id and second one is for that uh, record id primary key we will pass that uh, id When we click that record, uh, the record will we will cap capture the primary key ID from that record. Data type uh, and the success function uh, data type text <coughs> and uh, on that function success function we will refresh the region and here i try to see the log on that console later i will add the refresh region command we need to modify that query to, because uh, 
uh, we need to capture the primary key of that record that's why we need to pass um, primary key field value as an HTML tag That's the mechanism to capture the primary key for, from that uh, record when click on that record. I have shown this practice many times uh, in my tutorials. If you watch that, you can <coughs> capture this tactics already. Uh, now here uh, you can see that uh, I am going to follow that uh, function when click on that uh, report. to add this uh, column on that list uh, it's optional here I am going to refresh that region when the function callback function success then the region will automatically <coughs> refresh And that's it. Here uh, you need to create a dynamic version uh, in the model page uh, open, then not to fire that uh, set level function. <coughs> when in my case there was only one model phase number 13 that's why I use only 13 in this case if you have more uh, model phase on your application then you have to list all the model phase that you had otherwise uh, this uh, function not works properly that's it so uh, let's check here is the two interface uh, first one is the one user and uh, another is the receiving user uh, test user is send a notification to the test one user uh, and uh, what's happened let's see user test going to send a notification to the test one user here from send here uh, already added uh, before coming push notification yeah notification came and uh, already listed earlier was 2 and here uh, you can see the 3 and I am I have added this more notification from the back end when click uh, the notification status uh, have changed and the list is refreshed we are now nine list game that's it thank you for watching if like if you found helpful please likes comments